This workout is now available on Amazon Prime Video and Roku TV. Hey guys, it's Lindsay. I have a 30 minute Pilates with weights workout for you today. I'm using three pound dumbbells. You could use anything between three to eight pounds. Eight will be a little intense on the abs, but you know, why not? <laughs> so we'll start by laying down. Hands will go straight up to the sky right above your chest and then glue your legs together and bring them into a tabletop position. To modify, you'll keep your head down for the core work. Otherwise, let's curl it up. And then you'll start to drift your arms back in space. A couple inches will do a lot. More advanced, let's take them right by your ears. From here, stretch your right leg long away from you. Pull your left knee into your chest. And then draw your right knee to you. Send your left leg out to that 45 degree angle. It's an inhale for one switch and an exhale for the next. Really important to try to breathe while you're doing core work. I know that that is challenging, but when your face starts to turn really red and you're looking purple, I don't want you to pass out. Good, curling the chest up, arms are back by those ears, working in an imprinted spine. So your low back is pressed into the ground and there's no arch of the spine. Inhale and exhale. Good, reaching long through your toes and keeping the lift of your chest. And breathing with it. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Final two. Last one here, both legs to tabletop, flex your feet. Stretch your legs out to 45 degrees, point your toes, drag your legs back in. Flex, reach out to 45, point and return. Flex and lengthen, point and return. Flex, inhale, point, exhale. Flex, inhale, point, Exhale, keep the curl of the chest. Sometimes you start to lower down if we don't remind you. The last three, and final two. Option to smile here as it starts to burn. Last one, both legs go straight up to the sky. Lower just the left leg straight down to a hover, and then we'll scissor switch those legs. Reach through your toes, pointed feet. Draw the front of the pelvis up towards the ribs, imprinting the low back into the ground. Good, we'll go 10, curl a little higher. Last eight, and seven. For six, and five, knitting into the abdominals. Final four, stick with me. It's good to shake, last three, and two, and one. Take both legs straight up to the sky, curl it up, inhale, lower both legs down, Exhale, lift both legs up. Finding that breath and sticking with it. If you take your legs too low and you're feeling your back arch, modify the range of motion. Maybe it's this small right here. Just a little lift and lower. As long as you feel your core, you're doing the work. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Lift the chest up, we'll go for four. Good, stick through the burn. Last three. And two, almost through the warm up. Let's do it, last one. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. And take it down, that was awesome. Last move here. Arms straight up, legs straight up. Straight leg bicycles. Curl your head, neck and shoulders up. Drift your arms back in space. Lower your right leg down and twist to the left. Scissor, switch the legs, twist right. Scissor and twist. Try to go slow and keep the shoulder blades away from the ground. Rotate the upper body as much as you can. If you need to modify, you can bring the arms lower by your waist. If you need to advance, let's take those arms back behind those ears. Now pick it up for 10. Twist, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, it should be hard. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, take that down. Give those knees a little rock side to side. Plant your feet hips distance apart in parallel. Stretch your arms straight up to the sky right above your chest. Neutral spine. As you lift your hips up, keeping your back flat like a board, reach your arms overhead. As you lower your hips, bring your arms over your chest. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, and inhale to lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze from your butt, and inhale to lower. And keeping the front of the chest nice and wide. 
pushing through the heels to engage the leg muscles. Good. Exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. So we warm those abs up. Now we're going to warm the legs up. And let's find five more here for five. Once you see what I'm doing, keep your eyes looking straight up to the sky to protect the neck and keep, maintain the natural curves of the spine. The last two. The last one here. Lift the hips, keep the arms right above the chest, and then step your left leg straight up to the sky. Reach your left toes high, keeping your left leg, your left hip as high as your right. As you lower your left leg down to 45 degrees, reach the arms overhead, and then exhale, lift everything back to the sky. Inhale as you lower, and exhale as you lift. Going slow, keeping your torso very still here. Good. Trying not to let the pelvis shake side to side. So if you've got that cup of coffee on your belly button, imagery in your mind, try not to spill it. Good, find that breath. Inhale apart and exhale together. And last one, inhale apart, exhale together. Bend your knee and your elbow, and then exhale, extend straight up to the sky. Inhale, bend the elbows and the knee. Exhale, stretch. Chest press, left leg to tabletop, and then extend it up. Let's do four more. Four. Keeping your hips still for three. Final two. And last one. Step your left leg down and reach that right leg straight up to the sky. Inhale, separate your arms and leg. Exhale to return. Inhale, the right leg goes down, arms go overhead, and exhale to lift. This time you're trying to keep that right hip bone level with the left. That abdominals are engaged. And ground down through all four corners of the left foot, meaning your left big toe and pinky toe, left inner heel and outer heel. And we'll go for four. Nice work, last three. And two supporting legs should be shaking a little bit. Last one here, reach everything to the sky. Bend your elbows and your leg to tabletop. Exhale, press up. Inhale to bend and exhale to press. Chin is away from the chest. And collarbones are nice and wide. Press the floor away from you with your left foot, keeping your hips lifted. And we'll go for our last four. And three. For two. And one. Straighten your leg and your arms. And then plant your feet back into your bridge. Keep your hips up. Bend your elbows. Pulse your left hip to the sky as you reach your left arm to the sky. And then bend the left elbow and lower the hip. Reach the right arm up, pulse the right hip to the sky. Swinging the hips side to side. Right arm, right hip. Left arm, left hip. Do a little salsa dance here. Now really try to squeeze the glute of the hip that's lifting. Push through the heel and swing your hip to the sky as you squeeze your butt. Good, shift it side to side. Allow the pelvis to rock. Good, let's go for a couple more here. Squeeze to lift. That butt shelf, that's what we're sculpting. <laughs> okay, last one to the left, and now pulse it up to the left. Little bend and extend of that left arm for 10. Nine, up to the left diagonal for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side to the right. Pulse it up and up. Squeeze the right glute. You've got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to center, pulse everything up for 10. Nine, squeeze your glutes together in the back of your body. Final seven, six, five, four, this is it, three, two, and one, and then lower those hips down. Stretch your legs straight, glue them together. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, roll yourself all the way up to a seat. Nice work, guys. Okay, legs will be straight and extended long. Arms reach forward, wrists face the sky. Tall, 
spine neutral back. Inhale, hinge your spine back as far as you can go back without rounding. Stay really puffed up in the chest and exhale, return. Inhale, get longer as you lean back and exhale, return. So this is one of those exercises that doesn't really feel like a super burn that you get from those crunches. It's a total core workout. So everything, including the muscles in your back, are being worked. Inhale, lengthen and hinge back, and exhale, return. This is our last one, hold the hinge. Go back, test your limits, stay there. You'll curl your arms in, and lengthen your arms away. A little bicep action. Good, puff your collarbones up towards the ceiling. Exhale to curl in, inhale to lengthen. Try not to dump in your low back, no tucking of the pelvis. Good, hold the 90 degree bend, wrist over elbows, and then pump it up to the sky. 10, nine, eight, sit a little taller as you lean back for four, three, two, one. Lengthen your arms, stay leaning back, and now pump your arms straight up to the sky like you're giving us the ceiling a high five. Good, puffing that chest up, drawing your shoulder blades together in your back. And let's find four more, four, three, two, hold the arms lifted, pulse back an inch and forward an inch, back an inch and forward an inch. Hinging the whole upper body from the hips, keeping your head back in space so that your chin is not tucked into your chest. Good, let's find seven more, seven, and six, inhale back, exhale forward, tight core. And five, four, let it shake, three, and two, and final one. Exhale coming all the way up. Awesome job. Okay, so we're gonna put both of our weights in our left hand, and we'll bring our legs up into our teaser. So, scoop your pelvis, modification, Right hand will stay on the ground. Bring both legs up to tabletop and you'll have both of the weights in this left hand. Exhale, curl the weights to you. Inhale to lengthen away from you. Pelvis is scooped and we're tall in our chest. Good. If you're more advanced, you can extend your legs out to that 45 degree angle. Exhale to curl and inhale as you lengthen. Let's sit nice and tall in your posture. If you're that more advanced person, let's lift that left arm or that right arm up. Good. Four more. Four. And three. For two. And one. Don't quit. Just switch to the other side. Exhale. Curl it in. Inhale to lengthen. Modification can always be to hold the legs. Totally no problem. Intermediate. Legs in tabletop. Advanced. Let's straighten those legs. Tall in the spine, maybe extend that free arm forward. Good, let's go six more, six. And five. Good, final four. And three. Stick with me, last two. And last one. Place one weight in each hand. Bend the knees to tabletop. Reset, straight the legs. I'm gonna twist right and left. Twisting through your waist. Sculpting your core, but definitely a good one for those obliques. Good, scooped in the hips, try to keep the feet off the ground. You've got 10, 10, nine, nine, let's pick it up. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, we're almost there, five, five, feet up, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Nice work, let's do a little forward fold. One more teaser left, okay. Legs to tabletop. We'll scoop our hips and bring our arms by our ears. On your inhale, extend your arms and legs straight up. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Inhale, reach and exhale, extend. As your arms and legs lift up, sit taller. Good, and we'll go four and three. Final two, this is it, last one, and take it down. Okay guys, we are coming up to standing. And we got some butt work in the house. So this work will be from our Cadillac series in the Pilates repertoire, which is that big machine you see in studios sometimes. 
Feet will be a little wider than your hips. Arms will be extended straight forward, wrist face the sky, classical squat. You'll curl the arms into a 90 degree bend and they'll stay in this position. Inhale, send your hips back into your squat. Try to get really low and then exhale, squeeze your glutes, stand tall. Inhale, hips go back, sit low into a chair and then exhale, stand tall. As you bend your knees, try not to let the arms dip. Keep those arms up a little bit higher. Good, it's an inhale as you squat back and an exhale as you stand. Relax those upper traps away from your ears. Good, and then check that your knees are staying over your ankles rather than the knees going forward over those toes. Keep your hips going back in space. Good, we've got four more in this position for four. Dig through the heels at the top and squeeze your butt. Three, inhale down, exhale up, two. Shoulders are working, last, one, turn the toes and knees out and continue. Inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, squeeze tall. Now only go as low as you can keep your heels on the ground. If your heels are lifting, it's a little bit too low for you. Have an idea of when you're standing up, your legs energetically drawing towards one another. Creating an inner thigh connection here. Good, four more, four. Relax their shoulders, they're starting to burn out. Last three. And two, this is it. Last one, hips back. Well, it for that position. Turn the toes and knees in like your knock need, internal rotation. Inhale, hips go back. And exhale, push through the heels, stand tall. Inhale, hips back. Exhale, stand tall. Good, hinge from your hips. Send that butt back in space. Couple more to go. It's really the shoulders, huh? Those guys are going. And we've got four. And three, this is it. Last two, and last one. Stand it up, drop those arms, give them a little shake. Parallel legs glued together, single leg squats, traditional squats. Arms back to our 90 degree bend, tall chest. As you send your hips back, reach your left leg straight forward, sit your right hip as far back as you can, and then stand up and plant the left foot. Inhale, sit back. Right leg lifts, exhale, stand tall and plant. So let's start to pick the pace of just a hair and we'll be alternating. Good, send your tush back in space and find maybe somewhere you can look at. Keep your balance, keep that gaze. Good, let's do four more and we've got four. Squeeze through the glute to stand for three. Final two. Last one, hips back and stand it up. Amazing. Okay, stand near the back of your mat. Arms will be at the height of your chest, wrist face down, elbows are bent. Step your right foot straight forward. Bend the right knee, keep the back leg straight, press the arms forward, and then drag your right leg back as you return. Other side, left foot steps forward, bend the knee, press the arms forward, and then drag it back in. Here we go. Inhale, step into your lunge. Exhale, use your core and your inner thighs to return. Inhale, press. Exhale, return. For this one, tall posture. Pelvis is right underneath the chest. Try to bend deep in that front knee, bringing the knee right over the ankle. Don't cut yourself short. Good, couple more here. Bend deep and drag to return. Good, and we've got four more each side. That's four and four. Good, find the breath. Three and three, stick with it. Good, last two and two. This is it, last one. Drag it back, and last one. Drag it back, shake those arms out. Okay guys, taking it to our next move, side fencing. If you're too familiar with the Pilates Cadillac repertoire, stand to the back left corner of your mat. You'll have your right leg in front of your left. We'll take our hands to our hips to give those shoulders a moment. You'll step the right leg forward to the front right diagonal of the mat. Bend that right knee deeply, and then as you drag your leg back, squeeze your inner thighs. 
right leg steps forward, bend the knee deeply, and then drag back to return. Good, right leg goes forward, deep end of the knee, and then use your core muscles in your exhale to pull it back. Inhale to bend, and exhale to return. But when the legs touch, give yourself a moment to squeeze the legs together, as if you're trying to press one leg into the other. Good, four more, we got four, and squeeze. Inhale, step forward, exhale, drag back. Last two. And this is your final one on this leg. Last one, and pull it in. Step over to the back right corner of the mat and cross your left leg on the front. Same thing, different leg. You'll step the left leg forward to the front left corner of the mat, deep end of the knee, and then straighten the leg as you pull it back. Inhale, step it forward, and exhale, squeeze it back. Inhale, we go forward, and exhale, we return it back. Try to deeply bend that front knee, only as low as that heel stays planted, and then pull the leg back to you. Finding the inner thigh connection as you stand tall at the back. Good, inhale to step, exhale through the abdominals. Once again, this is upright posture for this one. Try not to let the torso lean forward. Keep your chest back as you step into it. Good actively pull the foot onto the floor back to you as if there's gum on the bottom of your foot and you're trying to get it off. We've all stepped in gum before or dog poop, which I'm actually notorious for. That might be TMI, but it is true. I don't know why I always end up being the one that steps in dog poop. Okay, last three. And on a date once. And two. And this is our last one. Last one. And pull it. And okay, to our wide second position, toes and knees turned out for our butterfly with our arm springs on the Cadillac. Arms come out to a wide semicircle, tall posture, scooped pelvis, bend your knees deeply. You'll take a side bend up and over to the left and reach your arms in the opposite direction and inhale back to center. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right and inhale back to center. Think of your arms reaching to the opposite walls and pulling your core into your body. Exhale, scoop the core, round and reach. Inhale through center. This one's called butterfly, but to me when I was practicing it, it looks a little bit more like a monkey, so I don't know how, how pretty it looks. <laughs> Exhale, curl and round as you side bend, and inhale through center. Are you still low in those legs? Let's sink it down. Exhale, curl and round, inhale through center. One more. Good, and now we're gonna add pulses. Take an up and over to the right and then pulse further, further, further. Inhale, center. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. Center. Working the whole waistline here. And let's go for three. And two. And last one. Exhale, pulse, pulse, pulse. Inhale, center. Stand it up nice and tall. Take a reset. Inhale, bend your knees deeply. Drag your left leg to your right. Close your arms, stand tall. And then step your arms and legs back open. Drag your left leg to your right. Squeeze your arms to a circle. Inhale, step it out. Find that inner thigh connection at the top. Keep your left foot attached to the floor the whole time. We've got five and four. Last three and two and last one. Squeeze it up. Step it back open. Second side. Squat it down as you stand tall. Drag the right leg to the left and open it up. As you drag your right leg to your left, Pilates V. Find those inner thighs. Squeeze those glutes and option to smile. Especially if you feel like you're dying. Last four. And three, sit it low, stand it tall for two, and one. Give those arms a little shake. So we'll be in a Pilates V for the next one. Pretty small V, and you'll come up onto your tippy toes. If the tippy toes are too much of a balance for you, you'll stay down here with your feet flat. Arms will come back out to that semicircle, tall in the chest. Lift your heels up to a hover, and we'll go for our butterfly arms again. Your right arm will reach overhead to the left, 
and then back through center. Exhale to side bend and reach. Inhale back through center. So this one's more about slow, controlled movements. Seeing if we can maintain the balance and getting lateral flexion in our upper body, meaning side bending. It's just a fancy word. Okay, let's go two more, last two. You got some sweat dripping, hopefully you do too. And last one right here. Good, take those heels down, traditional boxing. You'll punch left, punch right. Punch left, punch right. As the arms move, the torso stays still and stable by keeping the abdominals tight. And maybe those heels come up and we test the balance. Press your legs into each other as if they are one. Glue your big toes to the ground. Four, three, two, and one. Last move here. Shoulder press, I know they're burning. Heels are down. Couple here. Let's finish it up. Heels up, glutes tight. We've got eight. Ah, keep that balance. Seven, six, five. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Four, wrap the outer glutes. Three, two, and one. Okay guys, we're taking it down to the mat for our final burn move. So planks, have the weights in hand. Hands will come right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes behind you. Your right arm will do a tricep kick back. Bend the elbow, lower it down, round the arm, and then open the arm out to the right. Squeeze your shoulder blade. We've got eight. Row the arm, straighten the arm, bend the elbow, straighten it down, and then shoulder blade squeeze. We go row, tricep, bend, reach, round the arm, reverse fly. That was three. We've got five more. Lift your abdominals. And four, stay with me. Feel a squeeze in the muscles at the top. Good, final three right here. Row, reach, bend, down, fly. And last two. Got that sweat dripping in my eye, know I'm working hard. Good, last one, right to the other side. Okay, hands will be underneath your shoulders. Toes are tucked behind you, belly is in and up. And we go narrow row, kick it back. Bend the elbow, take it down. Round the arm and squeeze the shoulder blade to the spine. Try to find some pace and square your pelvis to the floor. Last six, good. Almost there for five. The flies are after me now because I'm sweating. Halfway, final four, row, kick back, and a fly. Last three. This is it, don't quit on me. Last two, and last one. We go row, kick back, bend the elbow, round, squeeze, and take it down. Woo! I think that was a great arm burn. Let's put the weights aside for a moment and give ourselves a little wipe of sweat and a shoulder stretch. So let's sit crisscross applesauce, interlace your fingers, Press your hands forward and pull your chest away from your hands into your upper back. Good, and then inhale, sit tall. Stretch your right arm straight and pull it in. Across your chest. Oh, nice work, guys. Release, stretch that left arm straight. Pull it in across the chest. Good, and then last stretch. Interlace your hands. Place your hands behind your head. Press your head into your hands and tilt your chest and elbows up towards the ceiling. Big inhale, deep exhale. Drop your chin towards your chest, let your elbows go narrow, and then rock your head side to side. Stretching it out. Good, and then release. Bring it up, give yourself a hand. That was hard work. Nicely done, I'll see you on the next one. Well, thanks for working out with me. If you haven't yet, subscribe below. Also check out our free app in our website with hundreds of free workouts that will give you more details about calorie burn, level, specific exercises. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.